What's up, Maniacs? My name is Joshua James. Happy anniversary. Maniacs, my name is Joshua James, and welcome to the eight year anniversary of Oregon Wrestling Observer. Eight years. Wow. It's crazy. And we're celebrating eight years of Oregon Wrestling Observer. It's been one heck of a year. Well, 2020, not so much, but hey, we're still staying strong, and we're still trying to keep smiles on people fa people's faces, or should I say, maniacs. <laughs> that was bad, I am sorry. But anyways, uh, before I get to the, the message I want to send to you guys, I want to save that for last. Because I got some clips that I recorded last week on SummerSlam. I know payback was today, but just want to let you all know that we did film something on the actual date for the OWO 8 year anniversary. Sorry it took so long, just been kind of busy, I've been working on other videos. I do apologize, I'm sorry it took for a while, but I'll get to that sooner or later. But right now, I got some clips that we recorded at last Sunday's SummerSlam, and also clips that were sent to me by OWO family members. Alright, thank you guys, and enjoy. Happy anniversary, anybody, by the way, Maniacs. We are cooking pizza, getting ready for SummerSlam. With me is Mary, Mad Mike over there, Baby Aria, and making her return on the show. Show her, show yourself. No. Yeah, you got no. to. No. Yeah, show yourself. You haven't, been, no. you haven't been on the show since 2018. Hi. Stephanie is back. <laughs> I don't know if you saw me. <laughs> Which is fine, I don't care. Why are you doing my goddamn bacon? I'm watching it burn. I'm watching it burn. No, you wouldn't. And if you hear any crap in the background, we're making his trailer park pizza. Instead of instead of ordering, instead of ordering for once, yeah, we're, we're doing it different this time around. We got that. Oh, it might. Did we want a cake? Okay. Yeah, pizza sucks. Hold on, baby. Daddy is busy. I'll get you a drape in a minute. Can you have patience, please? I'm going to do All right. So that'll be enough, I think. One more. One more. Should yeah, be. one more. Are you? Hands up, please. You spread that bitch around. I know you do. I need to be patient, though. Daddy's a little busy. Come on, stand to a goddamn bacon! What was the rest of the buffet table? Nah! Oh, my name. You know, maybe we'll cook some biscuits later on. Oh, okay. Yay, biscuits. Cool. You got gravy? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you make some biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I shot a save a lot. Good idea, but unfortunately not today. I save money to save a lot. Camera person is not very steady today. Oh my God, damn. You need to just. That's how you show it up? How you show it up? You want to? Sure. Right. Um, just spread it around and then pour it on there. Of course, he just dumps it out of the. He just dumps oh, it out of the Yeah, he just yeah. dumps it like out of the All right. So don't spoon it. You probably made this you all over the place. Okay. That's what she said. Careful. 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 If you have to use the bathroom sink. You're out at the top? No. No, 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 no. I've had the thought. Oh, Maybe some bacon. Well, oh, I do have a bucket down there. So oh, like the damn thing. All right, well. Just spray it around like the way Now use like the spoon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just dump it. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to use the bathroom sink. Okay. Would this one work? Would this one work? 
Probably. Sure. That's not ours, is it? Huh? Well, that's that's not not not. I don't think so. No. I think that's coming from the TV. Yeah. That's yeah. From the TV. <laughs> I yeah. Certainly hope it's not. <laughs> I wanna play. Yeah. You wanna play? I wanna what play. are you doing with the brush on the table? No. Silly girl. I want to take a little. Like I said. Yeah. yeah. Say hi. Yeah. Well, how angry Grandpa cooked it. He cooked it on. Then you drop it the other for about 15 minutes. Just throw it on top of it and cook it. Yeah, I know. Throw it under the cheese and stuff. Put some cheese on it, sauce, then put bacon and whatever else you put on it. And throw more. I said to stop! I'm taking it out. Oh, shit. No, 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 Oh, baby, you can have a drink. Come here. Oh, oh, yeah. We're talking about some delicious that looks type gross. of gross. Hey, uh, I don't looks. think these are grapes, baby. These no, are olives. Those are olives. Mm-hmm. Those are olives. These You're not going to like that. That's uh -uh. super salty. Oh, ah, shit. Shit. <laughs> All right, Why now we add the cheese. Uh -huh. Oh, those olives. Green olives. I don't like green olives. Spanish olives. Now we add the cheese and the pepperonis. Again, I am not the best camera person right now. Oh, my God. We got the cheese. Okay. Try that at home, young Last time you saw us trying to cook something with egg or grandpa was Grandma Green's tuna fish. Oh, no, no, it was Gra Grandma Green's uh, egg salad sandwich. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't tuna fish, because I can't deal with tuna fish. Yeah, you're allergic to fish. You saw me do it. Yeah, very allergic. I made tuna fish the other day, and she had to uh, walk outside. The whole pizza calls like nine or ten bucks, and tastes way better than the damn pizza. Will you get out of here? I don't know how many. Yeah. And it's way better for adding all of them. So I'll yeah. make sure they're. Yeah, I was gonna add all of them. I just don't know. You're, it's gonna it, be it's, it's like Maybe a little more cheese. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more cheese. You gotta get that extra cheese. Well, going. you can put cheese over the pepperoni. Well, that's that what, that, that, like, what we need up making. We're getting that, don't worry. Be so patient. we can just rip it up and throw it on there and put more cheese on top. Be well, patient. after you cook it. Be patient, Mike. That's gonna get the meat will be in ready. the oven with that. Be patient, Mike. I know how much you're obsessed with me, so you gotta Only wait on for Tuesdays, it. Man. You gotta wait for it. You gotta wait. Do you like that olive, baby? <laughs> Eat it. You don't like it, do you? Yeah, I kind of guess you wouldn't. Mm. Here. No. Stay out of that. Here. Oh, my God. <laughs> she said no, and then she said she wants that. <laughs> yep. I like that. Yeah. This is how hot dogs work. Yeah. Always. What do you say? They say I want that, and then they're like, Nah. I don't feel I think I think I want that instead. Hey, Mike, come here. Oh, you don't want the cheese? You eat it. Why do you keep doing that? Like? Oh, what? What? It automatically zooms in. It's auto <laughs> It's because you keep pressing. No, it. I don't touch that. Really? No, it's really sensitive. So even Where's if you Brandon? touch it a little bit, I don't touch it he's though. Kind of busy at the moment. He'll be up later on. <laughs> okay. All right. Eh. Now. Where she? A little bit. Where she would be because uh, like a lot more. Because it'll be like on the top of the. I like the cheese, melted cheese on the pepperoni. And that's what he does too. So put oh, okay. that back for me. Gosh, there we go. Get crazy with it. Okay, Ozzy, I'm sorry. I forgot you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here. Nah. Look at that. Oh, oh we looks... still need a little more cheese. Come on, Josh. It looks... Can we get these pepperonis covered? <laughs> oh, it looks... Oh, this is... oh, my. That's right. Like it owes you money, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a professional here. <laughs> when you're around your friends, no. <laughs> Professionalism goes right out the door. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> All right. More crackers and meat. Here, baby. Here's a few crackers. And Mike, you could go handle the uh, bacon. 
Thank you, Steph, for being the camera. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, please, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, somebody needs to video chat John so we can see this. Oh, my goodness. I'll do that when I get My the... phone's off. That way I don't have to worry about it. We'll get that after when me and Mary are done right here. I am not steady. That's okay. Welcome to Oregon Wrestling Observer. <laughs> Make weird food and crack day jokes. And watch wrestling. <laughs> Where's my phone? I got mine right here. Alright. I'll give him a call. Now, the bake on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? In the sink. Okay. Yeah, that's still got to get some hot water under it. So, yeah, what we're doing is we're making Angry Grandpa's Trailer Park Pizza. Why? Because I Why guess not? we want to try something different for Why once. not? That too. <laughs> but also, it's like uh, what Mike said on video chat one time. He's like, dude, we got to do something special. Because it's usually usually it's on anniversaries, we just order food or a pizza and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, what the heck? I've been hey. trying to do cooking and all that kind of stuff myself. What's so. up, buddy? Your turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. I got to get my Pepsi. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Everybody's touched this with food on their hands, trust me. Okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta go behind you, girl. Yep, we're making Angry Grandpa's Trailer Park Pizza with biscuits, it's cheese, bacon out right now. and uh, pepperoni, and uh, a bacon. And the sauce, don't forget the sauce. Mary's there. <laughs> Say hello to the maniacs. Hello. Boy. Hello. Hi. Hi, Aria. Uh, some camera time. Josh, there you go. Your <laughs> Hi. Baby R is there. We're getting ready. Uh, camera's right there. Say hello to the maniac. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, you missed it, John. I sexually ate a piece of pepperoni. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, should we show him? No. We will. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, his face. <laughs> Less than deep in a Tuesday. It's not even Tuesday. It's not it's even Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you when you, uh, oh, yeah? You got, you got a cracker? Right That's here. exciting. And we're not even finished yet. But I just want to let you know what's going on. Alright? You tell your mom to hurry up. And Mike says, tell your mom to hurry up. <laughs> Don't really, or she'll be pissed. No, don't really. Don't, don't, don't. All right, we'll talk to you later, buddy. All right. All right. What is up, OWO maniacs? Rick Pete, OWO UK. Just want to say happy eighth anniversary to OWO. Josh, my brother, you've done an amazing job. It's been a great ride. I've been proud to be a part of it. I've been thankful you asked me to be a part of it. Eight years, two more to a decade, brother. Two more years to get to a decade. You've outseen wannabe groups who've tried to jump on the bandwagon. They've been and gone. You're still doing it and you're doing it well. All the best going forward, Josh. Congratulations, brother. See you later. O-W-O. -O. For one night and one night only, I have chose to put our differences aside to congratulate you on another successful year on YouTube. From the Devil's Advocate and the rest of Millennium Pro to you, I say happy anniversary. But also, don't think for a second, Joshua, you have any chance against me at Okanagan versus Vancouver. Anniversary or not, prepare for this to be your final year on YouTube. Do not stray. Hello, hello. It is I, the great Plarbe, the science man himself. Unfortunately, my science stick was lost in the move, but that's all right. Science will prevail. And I, anyway, I am here to wish OWO a happy eight years. We've been doing this for eight years, man. This is fun. This is a fun thing. It's a fun thing. Anywho, I'll see you guys around. Hopefully, 
I'll at some point be able to come by and we'll have just a grand old time. See you guys later. I turn this off. Uh, SummerSlam was fun, but I gotta say, Payback was a lot better pay-per-view. But I still had fun hanging out with some friends. And thank you guys for sending those clips, by the way. I really do appreciate it. But right now, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, just want to say a message to all of you maniacs right now. And... Hey, is this, is this thing on? Is this... I'm... Gotta make sure I look good. <laughs> Yo! OWO, celebrating eight years. Eight years, huh? I don't even have marriages that last that long. Hell, I mean, my business barely almost lasted that long, but you guys made it eight years. So happy anniversary from me. I think that was good. Uh, where's, where's, where's the friggin' off button? Huh. Something's wrong. I mean, I, when I was filming, I saw the, the, the little small screen to show me recording. It was like staticky. Like something was wrong. Like it's working. I mean, that was that was weird. I don't know what was wrong with it. I mean, that was really weird. Huh. Anyways, but yeah, maniacs. We've had so much great memories of Oregon Wrestling Observer. For the past eight years, we've done so much fun, like so much fun adventures that we went on, so much funny moments that we've ever, we've done on the show, like the the adventures that we went on. The first one was when we went to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. That was so much fun. First time being out of the country. It was great to go to ECCW. It was great to see all the ECCW wrestlers. It was great to see Nicole Matthews win the ECCW championship. It was great to see Scotty Mack. It was my first time seeing him in a long time, and it was really great to have him as a guest. Hey, Scotty, I want you back on the show, brother. Maybe, like, whenever you get a chance, maybe we could do a Skype interview or whatever whenever you want I want to have you back on the show brother I really I want a lot of wrestlers to be back on the show too and some that I was planning on having had to get canceled because of this whole COVID that we're stuck in right now but maybe we could talk have you guys on like do a Skype interview if you ever want to but anyways it was great adventure then the second one is when we went to California for WrestleMania 31 my first WrestleMania since WrestleMania 19, which was back in 2003. <laughs> that was legit. That was, WrestleMania 19 was my first WrestleMania. WrestleMania 31 was my second. And it was so much fun. It was great. And then we get, went to go to Vaughn, Washington to go watch Northwest Pro. It was, it was great. It was really fun to hang out with wrestlers and all. That's one thing I do miss, is I miss going to wrestling events. I miss Scotty Mack. I miss Darren Corbin. Which, by the way, Darren Corbin has a YouTube channel, too. Go subscribe to him. And he's got a pro wrestling tees. Go buy some of his merch. Darren, love you, brother. And I miss you. I want you back on the show, too, brother. And I, I miss Dr. Cleveland, even though he's a jerk. But I miss him. I miss Derek Drexel. I miss Ravidus Randy. I miss Big Dave. I miss Big Money Mike. I miss Wade Hess. I miss Ike Van Dyke. I miss Andrew Watson. I miss Kate Carney. I miss so much wrestlers. I miss going to wrestling shows. But I, that makes me more excited to go back. After when this whole COVID thing finally ends, I can't wait to go back to more wrestling shows, interview more wrestlers, have them on, on the show. I mean, that's one thing I do miss. I miss watching wrestling events. I miss going to BCW. I miss going to DOA. I miss going to WCWC. I miss going to Power Pit. I miss going to Power Pro Wrestling. And also, I want to go to more wrestling shows. I want to go to more. I want to go back to Washington. I want to go back to Canada. And I hope one day to go to Japan. Go watch World Underground Wrestling. Have Ron Von Hess back on the show. Maybe Leatherface again, which was really awesome to have Leatherface on the show. Maybe, maybe Buddy High. Buddy Highway, whenever he's available, if he's a, you know, whenever, or, and also, speaking of Buddy, last year, was a, it was an ma amazing moment, and it also brought tears to my eyes, I have Billy Jack Haynes on my show, which was an amazing moment for me, because it was a wrestler that I watched as a kid, and it was great 
to have him on the show. I've had him on, on my show twice. And the first time I had him on my show, it was hard for me, as you could tell, even on the thumbnail, that I was trying to hold back tears. Because it was a guy that you looked up and watched back then, and finally having one of your favorite wrestlers on your show blows my mind still to, because I had Billy Jack on the show. Bob still teases me about, you know, because I cried and all that kind of stuff. Hey, name the last time you a kid like, you know, or grown up gets to have one of his favorite wrestlers on his show or get to talk to him. Doesn't happen that often. And I finally got to meet him and it was a great moment. The second time I met him, this well, I did not met him. The second time I saw him is when I brought the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship belt at Oregon Wrestling Club. And he saw the belt and his mouth just dropped. And it is like he hasn't seen this belt in a long time. I got him and he autographed it, which was great. And also, another great moment just happened this year, actually, before the whole COVID thing started. I had Dr. Luther and Salem's Lot on the show. I had Dr. Luther on the show, which was really, really fun. And Dr. Luther, he's kicking ass in AEW right now. And Doc, I love you, brother. And uh, if you're ever free, I'd love to have you back on the show again. But, you know, so much fun memories I've had. So much great wrestlers, managers, and all that kind of stuff. I had Monsieur Oulala on the show. And he was, I love Oulala. Can't wait to see him again. And I've had so much great memories interviewing wrestlers. And, and, and now, like, uh, when I go to shows, it's just like so much fun thinking like, okay, I want to try to interview some wrestlers. And they help out too. I, I, BCW's been a big help. DOA has been a big help for my show. WCWC. I've had Darren Corbin, which was really fun to have on my show because he got screwed out of the WCWC title. And he never got the belt back. He never lost it, which is a crime, WCWC. How dare you do that to our boy? How dare you do that to Skittles? He deserves better. You need to respect him. He's a true champion. Also, has a great YouTube show. <laughs> but uh, I'm not... I'm not making jokes. He, he, I love Darren. He is hilarious when it comes to wrestling. He's a great heel, and he's really hilarious on comedy. But also, it's just like, um, Scotty, charismatic, entertaining. I love him to death. I love all these guys. I love all of them, and I can't wait to go back. And also, uh, Cameron Brandt. I miss him. I miss having, I want him back on the show. I miss going to seeing all these wrestlers. I miss going to wrestling. But that, like I said, makes me more excited when this whole COVID thing ends, makes me more excited to go back. But it's just not wrestling that we had some great moments on Oregon Wrestling Observer. The OWO Hardcore Championship. Oh, those were some fun times. And I think are really creative. Like, you know, some of the things that I think WWE did Actually, no, I think we did first. I'm not sure. But, um, like, the whole golfing thing, when our truth lost the 24-7 tile at a golf course, uh, I think me and Chris Helix did that first before WWE ever did. We're not taking credit. We're not taking credit. Sort of. Yes, maybe a little. But, anyways, it was the hardcore tile. I know a lot of people want the belt, that belt in the whole series back. I do, too. We were trying to think of ideas and all that kind of stuff for the whole storyline for the hardcore title never got to happen because work and all that kind of stuff and now with the whole COVID thing probably going to be postponed again but so much fun memories with the hardcore title we had Tommy Sosius won we've had Meat win it we've had uh, Chris Helix who has held every different version of the hardcore title by the way he threw the, the, the first one into the dumpster I don't know where that belt went actually Never found it. Hmm. Anyways, we've had so many different looks at the hardcore tile. The license plate hardcore championship belt is by far the most popular one out of all the versions of the hardcore belt we've had. That was Chris Helix's uh, creation. And uh, he's the one that brought that belt. 
and it's been very popular. And also, every time I bring it to shows, when there's a no no disqualification match, wrestlers love to use that belt. It's so broken right now. It's at the point that the main plate broke, and I had to gorilla glue, glue it back on. <laughs> and, but so much fun memories, like Chris Helix, and also uh, the referee. Which, by the way, I haven't heard from him for a year right now. Wonder what happened to him. I'll try calling him later. But uh, yeah, and also. Matt Mike won it, and also Plarby won it with science. I have won it a couple of times. Stephanie won it once, and uh, we had some random ninja win it, and we had a, a person who was who escaped from the mental hospital win it. Yeah, we had some weird people win the tile. We definitely did. I don't think there was ever a single normal person who won the, uh, well, besides Tommy. I think you, no, is he? I don't know. We've had so many different people win the hardcore tile, but I promise you, after when this whole COVID thing ends, that belt will return. Well, it kind of sort of did when the 24-7 tile, when I bought that belt, now people want it. I've had fans come up to me and say, you better watch your back, I might steal that belt. I've had some wrestlers say they're gonna steal, off, steal it from me. Big V stole that belt so many times from me. It's at the point where I see it, I was like, here, just take it, don't kill me. Because that monster, Clearly, Bob calls me a coward when I don't fight back. Well, when you see a big giant like Big Vicious is, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna fight him. I ain't no wrestler, so why fight him? Big Dave said he was gonna steal, uh, take the tile away from me, and he's jacked. Why would I fight him? I'm not a wrestler, so here, just take it. Big Money Mike says it. I will slap you around. No, I'm just kidding, Big Money Mike. Don't hurt me. Don't send Big Dave after me. Please, that was just a joke. That was just a joke. I know you're still mad at me for having the freak show on my show a couple of times. I know you're still mad at me at that, but I was just doing my job and all that kind of stuff. It's part of my show. I need to talk to some of the wrestlers and get all the scoops and all that kind of stuff. It's part of my job. Stop, don't be mad at me, especially Big Vicious. Vicious, why are you still mad at me? It's not my fault that you almost lost that match. You tried to talk to me and since then, you said you were gonna tear me apart the next time you saw me, and this whole COVID thing started, and I bet you still want to kill me. Please, I am sorry. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry for almost making you lose a match? How many times do you have to choke slam me through a table and then we're good? Please don't do that, I was just joking. Please don't do that. I am not a wrestler. I am not a wrestler. <clears throat> I'm scared now. I'm sweating. Uh, not because I'm scared. It's because it's, it's hot in here. That's why. That's why. I'm not scared at all. Don't. No, no, not at all. Mm -mm. Anyways. <laughs> but also had some great WrestleMania parties here. We had some fun WrestleMania parties. We had Damon Scythe come over here a couple of times to watch some WrestleMania. Just last year we had Andrew Watson come over and watch SummerSlam, which by the way, the network kept glitching and, and all that kind of stuff, which sucked. But having Andrew coming over here was so much fun. I love you, Andrew, and I'm, I miss you guys. And uh, just so much more fun memories I could go on and on, but I don't want to waste anybody's time. But Maniacs, I just want to say to all of you, thank you, the love, the support, and the hate really really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much it means a lot that you stuck with us for this long because like I said we've had some ups we've had some downs but just so much fun memories and plenty more to go we're gonna keep on going and to the OWO to the rest of the OWO crew thank you guys I really really do appreciate it for you guys just sticking around and just so it's just so much fun having you guys around and it means so much to have a big family like the OWO crew is and to all the maniacs out there thank you guys for being my friends and family I really really do appreciate it same with the wrestlers I really really do appreciate it thank you guys for being good friends and really good to, to me I love you guys so much thank you for being my friends and family and uh, so much fun memories and like I said, I could go on and on, but I don't want to talk too long. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Oregon Wrestling Observer. Follow me on Twitter. Also, follow me on Instagram. Go like the Oregon Wrestling Observer Facebook page. I love you guys so much. And uh, I'm going to end this old school style. I am Joshua James, and I am tapping out. Love you guys. Broken bones from parts unknown Simplify wonders of why Broken promises revealed